Today, one amateur chef takes on two very professional <laughs> mythical chefs to see if they got what it takes to hang in the kitchen. So without further ado, please welcome the talented, the hilarious, Emily Fleming. Uh, now, Emily, you are a series regular on a cooking show, yet you have done almost no cooking on it. That's correct. Uh, what will you be making today? I um, like to make stuffed mushrooms. It's one of like the only things that I know how to make. Uh, I don't know where I got this recipe from. I've been making it forever. So. When's the last time you made it and how was the reaction from other people? I made it at Jenna Purdy's house for her and her um, bestie, Laura. And it was like, I think we were watching all of the uh, Princess Switch movies. <laughs> The hell are the Princess Switch movies? Let alone hey, all of the Vanessa Princess Hudgens Switch movies. classic movies. But uh, yeah, and then I made them, and they were a little like really at first, and then they loved it. All right, Emily, Trevor and I are going to make our best version of stuffed mushrooms, okay. and then our judge is going to eat them and see if they can catch the imposter chef. Who makes stuffed mushrooms? <laughs> stuffed mushrooms are like a third tier appetizer at a restaurant that you're like, you've been to a few times, you're like, I guess I'll try the stuffed mushrooms this time. <laughs> um, no, nobody I don't think has made stuffed mushrooms. Emily hasn't made them in six months apparently, so. I'm gonna pop these in here, 400, for about 10 minutes. Um, surely I know how long 10 minutes is. Uh, I have a theory. So stuffed mushrooms, I mean, there's a formula, because mushrooms generally is something you put on top of things, right? You put mushrooms on top of, on top of pizza. Um, so what we're doing here, what my theory is behind doing pizza stuffed mushrooms is that you're, you're taking the topping and then you're making it the bottoming, as Josh would call it. Pizza tastes good with mushroom on it, so mushroom gotta taste good with pizza on it. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> so from over there, from over yonder, you probably didn't hear it, but I did. I heard a, <clears throat> And that was KG telling me to plug the apron. And if KG had let me get to my bit, you would have seen something like this. Oh no, I spilled cheese on myself. Well, guess what? I don't have to worry about that because I'm wearing the Mythical Kitchen Life's Too Short to Cook on Medium Apron, which you can find at mythical.com. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna pop these in this pan. Surely I get them all in there. And then I'm gonna get those going with some garlic and some spices. Now, being a professional chef, I haven't measured my spices. And I'm not going to. Because here's the thing with these green leaves in here, they all taste the same, okay? The dried green leaves, you could argue that the fresh green leaves taste different. I'm still on the fence. The dried ones, they, they make a whole thing that's just they put them all together because they all taste the same. They call that Italian seasoning. Uh, I'm just gonna keep those sweating in there for a brief moment, 10 minutes. You know, I kind of checked out of trying to be like good at cooking. After the whole Gordon Ramsay thing, you know, that was like kind of like, I don't know. Why? Why would I try? <laughs> um, this is just like making a pizza, except instead of a crust, you have a mushroom. So, and I know how to make pizza. I've done that before. Gonna cook it for a minute. The mushrooms are done. And now, this is the fun part. So we've, had, we've done the mushrooms, now we're gonna do the stuffing. Um, we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna do a nice little, nice little dollop inside there. I'm making eight because that's how many stuffed mushrooms a normal person eats. But I believe, I, I think the pizza theory is sound that I have, that mushrooms are good on pizza, so pizza must be good on mushrooms. I don't know what the other contestants are making, um, but if it's not something that previously involved mushrooms, then I think they're fools. Mini pepperonis, how fun are those? These things don't look like real meat. They look like plastic, and that's what I love about them. I'm going three on each. I think that's the move. Sound off in the comments if you think three pepperonis on a stuffed mushroom is good. All right, mushrooms have been stuffed. You can see that I'm not lying to you. And I'm gonna put them back in until they're done. Hello everyone, the pizza stuffed mushrooms are done. Time to put the finishing touches. Then, a, a sprig of basil. And there you have it, my pizza stuffed mushrooms. And now, this is a dramatic portrayal This is, oh my God, I can't see. Annalise, you are blind. Okay. <clears throat> this is a dramatic portrayal of a Chili's executive watching this video. God, this is genius. Oh my God, oh my God. You're not gonna believe this crap.
All right, I don't know where I found this recipe. I don't have a name for it. It's blueberry goat cheese is involved. Sheeps go to heaven, goats go to hell. I'm gonna turn on some heat here. Oh, it's already on. Cool, they didn't trust me to do it. Um, I'm gonna, okay, hell. Ah. So goats, we got goats. What was that goat from the movie, The Vich? Black Philip. Black Philip. Okay, these are called Blue Phillips. <laughs> right? <laughs> I like that. Okay, we're gonna put this in here. This, oh, you guys, <laughs> this is so oily. Uh, my friend Jordan Morris uh, is on Cotton Candy Randy. He's on here. He's also my co host on a podcast called Free with Ads that you can listen to on Maximum Bun. We watch free movies from YouTube that you have to watch ads for, and then we talk about them. First, I'm gonna just take these uh, mushrooms, which are very nice, and I kinda like do this on that, and I just leave them in there a little bit, cause I want them to be a little juicy. But basically, I don't know where I got this idea from. I think I read it on something and then just, but I do think the blue cheese, uh, not the blue, the blue berry goat cheese is kinda something I added, I think. Um, at Thanksgiving, they tell me to get out of there. Um, my sister can cook, my mom, I don't think any of us can really cook. Sorry, Flemings, I don't think we're very good at it. Um, my dad's good at making some real dry pork chops. The driest, like if you cough while eating it, it's like dust, <laughs> like that's kind of the vibe. While I let these guys hang out in there, is that camera getting it? Look at this technique. <laughs> Okay, I like to chop up the stems because waste not, once not, I guess. Don't look at my technique. I've watched people do it and do like this kind of thing on TV. They do this thing, right? Are you nervous? They're nervous. Also, I said that I wanted to drop my phone later. Uh, did you get scared when I did that? Everyone's so scared about me and knives. You know how many knives I own? I have one in every part of my apartment for intruders. There's one in the bathroom. There's a dagger hung on the wall. Got it from the Ren Fair. And uh, there's just like, I don't think the baseball bat thing really works because they can just grab it. And uh, yeah, there's, I love knives. I'm fine. Ah! <laughs> you guys loving this? <laughs> Why am I not married? Could this be it? <laughs> The next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this in there with some garlic uh, paste. I like garlic paste because it's just no nonsense. I don't wanna cut up garlic and I don't like the chunks. You know what I mean? The one that's in the juice, that's in the little jar. Garlic. Garlic, mm-mm. I don't like the little chunks. It's like, ugh, and the juice in there, I don't like it. I like a good paste. It's no nonsense, it's paste. Okay, so we're gonna, I think this is fine. I'm just gonna take them out. Um, and then we're gonna put the, the little choppities in there. Then let's put some paste. Pretty much you're gonna see a lot of eyeballing. Let's see that. And then salt and pepper that thing. Oh man, look at this. Now this is what the merch department, they did this, this right. This little, ooh, the suction on that, it's nice. Love a good suction. <laughs> um, there's that. Okay, and then love a pepper, pepper grinder. <laughs> love a pepper grinder. You know, my <laughs> my grandmother, I she RIP. Uh she was she was so funny. We would go to the movies and and she would just be sitting there waiting for the movies to start and she'd say things like everybody loves the movies. <laughs> love a pepper grinder, you know? I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole thing. I don't what? Waste not, want not. We can just eat some sausage together if I don't use it all. You could make a uh, meatloaf. I've never made that. I don't know how to make it. How do you think you make meatloaf? I think it's like bread. Okay, uh, all right, okay. Gonna ch chunk that in. <laughs> Look at that big log, that big juicy log. I'm gonna mash this more and then let it cook and you don't wanna watch that. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna, oh, my phone. <laughs> Gotta grab that. There's not that much phone in here. <laughs> <coughs> it's on low battery. <laughs> oh, all right. 
All right, I think that's fine. So what you're gonna do now, I usually get a big one, but that's okay. Just dump that big tube. All right, I like to let it just get that chunk real hot. That's pretty, look how pretty. With that purple. <laughs> it's pretty. I think it's pretty. So yeah, just stir it up until it's like a goo. When I worked in a restaurant, um, I was fired from every restaurant I ever worked in, but when I worked in one, you had to wear your hair up because you get hair in there, and I never wear my hair up when I'm on the show, so I bet that you've consumed a lot of my hair. Yeah. I know. Okay, this is, okay, this is looking kind of good. Look at it. This is grossing people out, I have a feeling. Can we get a slow motion on this? Oh yeah, that camera. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks horrible, what the? So what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna put this stuff in the mushrooms, right? Put it on a pan, which I guess, is this a thing that keeps it from sticking? That's cool. Um, <laughs> and uh, then you put it on there, and you put it in the oven, and I don't know how long you put it in there. You just keep checking it till you're like, that's good. And um, I'll show you what I mean when it comes out and be like, that's good, it should look like that. Kind of like the burnt sausage, you'll know. Look how pretty. They are. <laughs> I th hope you like brown. <laughs> well, I, you know, I don't care about winning. It's more about, you know, trying. Listen, maybe this drizzle of balsamic glaze is exactly, and the pink plate, which is almost like a little bit of a mauve, a little bit of a purple, a little bit of a blueberry, right? Uh, <laughs> the plate's what's gonna save it. So we got some balsamic glaze. Everybody likes the movies. <laughs> I don't like this bottle. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. Oh, why? <laughs> Listen, we gotta make it like sacrifices. I washed my hands. <sighs> now I'm in my head. Um, I think they look too watery. So I'm gonna put them back on the pan, I'm gonna put them back in the oven for a while. And I'll just keep checking on it, you know. I'm sure Josh won't mind. Dude, I just had a great idea though. Check it out, piping bag, star tip, boom. Those go in the mu- We're still figuring out as we go. Here's the thing, haven't cooked a stuffed mushroom in probably 10 years. To me, this is, it's a fun amateur dish, which I understand why Emily did it, right? It's in there, it's fun. Boy, does it look fun and amateurish. Um, I started thinking though, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Nicole's rummaging for the thing. I can get it. Yeah, I didn't mean to like be demanding of, I didn't, yeah. I started thinking, what's the best mushroom dish I ever had? And it was simply mushrooms of, this is so abnormal. It was mushrooms of white wine, butter, and herbs of Provence. It was while I was walking on the Champs Elysees in France. And then I thought, what's the best potato dish I had? Also washing on the Champs. And then I thought, what's the best potato dish you ever had? Also walking on the Champs Elysees in France. Oh, it's just blue sausage, I hate that. It's called tartiflette. It comes from the French Alps. I, ooh. That's, it, oh my God. I mean, it's like if Salvador Dali made hamburger helper. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> um, tartiflette, tartiflette is a great French Alps dish. It comes from like the Savoie region. Uh, people say that real tartiflette can only be made with pomme de la terre la rate. We got yellow potatoes. Uh, and uh, Reblochon cheese. We got the two most Frenchy cheeses we found at the Ralph's. So we got Port Salut and we got Brie over here. We're gonna let that render down. We're gonna get some onions in there. Potatoes, Yukon Gold, it is a medium starchy and medium waxy potato, so you get like the best of both worlds. Josh wine, spend a night in with Josh. <laughs> I've gotten about 60 bottles of Josh wine over my years for birthdays, Easter, Arbor Day, everything. People go, Josh! It's got your name on it! And I go, ha! It's good! I love it! I actually do, I think Josh makes a great product. Their Pinot Noir is my favorite. But anyway, shout out to Josh Wine. So, uh, we got some cream, we're gonna chuck some cream in there. I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter in there. I'm gonna save some butter. I'll tell you what, I think uh, it's really incredible to have just like a general fascination with the world. You know what I mean? I don't know, anywhere you look around you, there are untold stories. Uh, 
you know, unseen little events. Dropping the onions into the bacon. I'm gonna get these sauteing a little bit. I'm gonna throw some herbs of Provence. I wanna get them nice and toasty in there. Oh, we got the herbs of Provence with, with lavender, which is really fascinating because, hey, don't call me a nerd. Do not call me a nerd for this. Herbs of Provence do not typically have lavender in there. However, American companies, when they started selling it, they realized that lavender buds grow in Provence and they just figured they'd throw in there to make it seem more Provencal, even though they're not typically in the herb blend. Don't say it. How fascinating. Gonna open up this here brie. I don't wanna get the rind in there. Emily, you wanna save this brie rind for later? I don't like rinds, but I will eat the brie. <laughs> Actually, no, brie wine is good. Emily, was that spoon in your mouth? Yeah. That's fine, dude. All right, Josh won. It was also in Josh's mouth. This one, do you eat the, you eat the orange? I'm gonna eat the orange. I'm just gonna take all those wet onions and bacon. I'm really gonna mash the hell out of this. <laughs> gonna stuff the mushrooms. Mmm, that design isn't as cool as I wanted it to be. Yeah, the chunks of bacon are really making it hard to design, and then this just, it's not, okay, it's not a fart, but sometimes when air gets forcibly trapped in there, something, you know. I'm heating up this butter. We should get a fair amount of flavor from those herbs de Provence in there. Lovely. I'm just gonna stuff these mushrooms. We're gonna get these bad boys in the oven about 425 for about 12 minutes, come out, brush them down to some more herb butter. See where we're at? Check back in a sec. Uh, these look great. It got a little bit of potato spillage. I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna take the butter underneath, sort of just thwap that on top. That's lovely. I wanna get this cooking in butter almost like escargot bourguignon. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say whayo. Whayo! Thank you. <laughs> That's fun. And then just some chives on top. Chives, potatoes, mushrooms, lardon. And I'm calling it done. We did it. Stuffed mushrooms, tarty flat, herb de Provence. Rustic French Alps based cookery. This is a popular après ski meal. Welcome, Jordan from spork.com. Hi, <laughs> thanks for having me. Before you, you have three stuffed mushroom dishes. Please enjoy. Okay, I feel like I want to pick them up and eat them with my hands. Is that okay? Annalise, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That's really nice. I love the little pepperoni cups. It's juicy. Mushrooms and pizza, it's so, makes so much sense. How could you be mad at it, you know? It's so good. I don't know, I really, it's just like standard, right? It didn't blow me away, but because I already thought it was gonna be good. I saw this, I said, that looks good, it was good. This looks more like what you would order at a restaurant when you get a stuffed mushroom. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take one more bite because I feel confused. Mm. Okay, seems like it's filled with mashed potatoes. I don't fully get it, but it's not bad. It does taste good. Okay, and then last but not least, this looks wild. This looks like something from Dune, um, but I see, you know, hopefully a little balsamic glaze. What is this? Is this all just sausage? I thought it was the coldest one. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay, it's kind of good. It feels like something my mom would have made in 1997. And my family would have been like, this is it. This is cutting edge. Food has never been like this before. It tastes like it has Morningstar crumbles, the vegan meat crumbles and balsamic glaze and a mushroom and I don't really taste much else. Once again, good, ugly, but it doesn't taste bad. Okay, Jordan, so what we wanna know is which dish was your favorite and then we wanna see, can you guess which dish was created by the imposter? Okay, my favorite dish was the pizza mushrooms. I'm going to make these at home soon. They're delicious. I think, I'm like, if I only knew who the chef was, then it would be easier to guess. That's the whole point. Um, I think, I think maybe these are the imposter chef because they are very one note, or I guess I should say three notes. You just get sausage, mushroom, balsamic. I don't really get anything else in the filling. 
So that's my guess for that. Jordan, you are correct. Nice. That dish was made by one and only imposter chef, uh, Emily Fleming. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yes, <laughs> really? Oh, 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 oh my God. Now that I know it's you, I am. It's cooked and it's very delicious. Thank you. It tastes good. So the only thing I used, I shouldn't have used so much sausage because there is blueberry goat cheese in there. Wow. Got none of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think next time I'll know not to use the whole, I put the whole brick of Jimmy Dean sausage in there. You know what I'll say? I don't think you need less sausage. I think you just need more goat cheese. Thank you. You haven't seen how much leftover sausage there is. <laughs> if you don't take a baggie of sausage home, Jordan, you can do that. All right, I normally do when I leave work. <laughs> yeah. Um, but these are both delicious. Whose is this, yours? It's yeah, amazing. I know. Yeah. It's delicious. Thank I you. love Trevor's food always. And then this is yours. It's very fancy. Thanks. It was meant to be tartiflette, which is an opera ski dish from the French Alps. Sure. <laughs> Uh, Jordan, thank you so much. Emily, you will be paying for your sins uh, somewhere. Uh, thank you so much for Stop My Mythical Kitchen. We got new videos out every week. You know the deal. We'll see you all next time. Can I finally eat one of these? We love stuffed mushrooms. Life's too short to cook on medium or whatever Ratatouille said. Shop the new Hot Stuff apron now at mythical.com.